Hello everyone and welcome to another math tutorial. This video is the fourth video in the series of solving exponential and logarithmic equations and the first one of two dealing with just solving logarithmic equations. Uh, I have this divided into two parts. The first part we're going to look at video or problems uh, where we just have a single logarithm in the equation. Uh, the second part, uh, the second video is going to have some examples of problems that have multiple logarithms. With that said, let's get started uh, with the first example in this video. Okay, the first example, as you can see, uh, is an equation we're trying to solve for x or whatever the variable might be, uh, but the x here is trapped inside of a logarithm. So that's how this equation is a little bit different than the first few videos we saw in this series of videos. When the equations have a single logarithm like this, the first thing you want to do is get the logarithm by itself. Uh, so if there was something like behind the parentheses added or subtracted, I'd want to move it over to the right side. If there was a number multiplied here, I'd want to divide it over to this side first. But I didn't give you anything like that in this problem. We have this logarithm already completely by itself isolated. So we're, we're kind of just ready to jump right into this problem and, and get started. Now the step that we're going to use is a, a couple ways that we could present this. The, the step that I'm going to show you is called exponentiate both sides of the equation. Okay, so what that means is I am going to rewrite this equation where the equation as we see it, um, the left and the right hand side are going to become exponents. Okay, They're going to become exponents over uh, a common base, any base of my choosing. Okay, Now, I want this to work out as, as friendly and, and easy as possible. So what I am going to do is I'm going to look at the base of the logarithm. And whatever the base of the logarithm is, that's the base that I am going to use. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite this a problem. It's going to look like this when I rewrite it. It's going to be 5 raised to the log base 5 of 2x plus 5 equals 5 raised to the third power. So you can see the original equation, that log base 5, 2x plus 5, and 3, that's still there. It's just now as exponents. And again, I can choose whatever base I want as long as I do it to both sides. This is a fair move. Uh, now the reason why I chose 5 is because I want these to match. One of our properties of logarithms uh, that we need to know is that uh, when these match, they're going to cancel each other out. And so that makes it very convenient now. We can rewrite this equation uh, without this stuff. We just have 2x plus 5 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have 5 cubed, which just, let's just go ahead and evaluate that. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5. That's 125. Okay, from here on down, uh, this is just a standard two-step equation. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides, giving us 2x equals 120. Divide both sides by 2. 120 divided by 2 is 60. And that problem is finished. All right, second example. Again, I'm going to check and make sure that this logarithm is by itself. If it's not, I'm going to do that first. This logarithm is by itself on the left-hand side, so I can go ahead and exponentiate both sides. Uh, now the question is, I suppose different from the last problem, is what's the base of this logarithm? Because we don't see a number there. Uh, remember that if the number is not there, then it is implied that this is a base 10 logarithm. So when I rewrite this, when I exponentiate both sides, we're going to do it above a base of 10. So this is going to be 10 raised to the log 4x minus 1 equals 10 raised to the second power. Okay, so because I have matched bases 10 and log base 10, those are going to be canceled from the problem. And I have now just 4x minus 1 equals 10 to the second power, which is 100. We're going to next add 1 to both sides. 
So I have 4x equals 101. Divide both sides by 4, x equals 101 fourths. If you want a decimal as your answer, I leave it to you to convert that into a decimal, but I'm happy with 101 fourths as long as it's a reduced fraction, which it is. Final example uh, that I have in this video, we see an equation that, uh, again, just like the last ones, it's, a, it's got a logarithm in it. Uh, this logarithm is by itself. We can go straight to exponentiating both sides of the equation. Uh, this is a natural logarithm, and a natural log is a log base e. So we're going to have to raise this above an e. So e raised to the natural log 6x minus 2 equals e raised to the fifth power. Uh, the e and the natural log being inverses are going to cancel each other out. So we have now 6x minus 2 equals e to the fifth power. Because we're dealing with e here, we're not going to be able to necessarily like combine terms per se and get x equals just a single number. We're going to get an exact form of this answer and then we'll go to the calculator and get an approximate answer as well. Uh, but let's just carry out our steps. We're going to add 2 to both sides. So I've got 6x equals e to the fifth power plus 2. And then we're going to divide both sides by 6. So x is going to be e to the fifth power plus 2 divided by 6. Okay, that is our exact answer. If we want an approximate answer, we're going to go to the calculator. So I'm going to type this in uh, in steps. I'm going to do e. The e is above the natural log, so I have to hit second natural log, get the e. I want it to the fifth power. I'm going to add 2. So my first step, I just typed in the numerator, e to the fifth power. You can see it maybe there. e to the fifth power plus 2. And now I'm going to have to divide that by 6. Okay, and again, I'll use four decimal places. I get 25 point zero six eight nine and that is my approximate answer okay that's it for this first video on solving logarithmic equations if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions feel free to comment below thank you very much for supporting the channel